Sleeping in a pine cone? Not for the faint of heart. So I saw this crazy pine cone shaped Airbnb on Instagram and it looked so beautiful, I thought we had to try it out. So a few months ago when we were in Northern California, we made the drive into the Santa Cruz mountains to visit the pine cone tree house. Hello. Welcome to my house! <laughs> and in the trees, oh it is. Because it's huge, mirrored, and suspended from five giant redwood trees over 35 feet off the ground. Oh, it's shaking. Oh my god, not it swaying when he gets in there. And the way you get into the pine cone is via this very tall ladder. It's a little swayy up here, not liking that. Which is kind of intense. Like, I'm not super afraid of heights, but it's very steep and it moves a decent amount. Oh! Hey! It's so cute and small! Yeah, right? Oh yeah, I like this much better than the ladder. Yeah. This is much nicer than the ladder. Now inside, the treehouse is actually really pretty. Like the scales of the pine cone are windows to the surrounding forest, and though it is pretty snug up there, the decor and plants are very cute. It's intended to be like a meditative nature retreat, and I think it definitely does achieve that. Come on in, the water is great. But one thing I did not anticipate was how much the pine cone itself would move with the wind. It's like a cruise ship. Now the Airbnb listing does warn you that it's an adventure, and to be fair, the day that we went was very windy. I mean, just look at those trees, but... It's like literally <laughs> rotating a little disco ball. I know, it really is. But we did get used to it after a little while. One other thing to note is that the bathroom is not up in the trees with you, it's down on ground level. Let's hope we don't have to go pee at night, right? Oh! Yeah. And though it is really pretty and cabin-esque... Oh, it's actually cute. Beautiful view from the John. That does mean at night, you have to climb up and down from the treehouse. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the bathroom. To pee or get ready for bed. Woo! Made it! Which isn't too bad, unless you forget something upstairs. Do not have our toothbrushes. Nope. Don't worry, I made Tyler go back by himself. Toothbrushes. Good job. Now, I was pretty curious about what it would actually be like to sleep up there. Hi. Night. Whoa! And I actually ended up sleeping pretty well. Good morning. <sighs> the swaying at night is kind of a strength, because it almost like rocks you to bed. It's a little loud, the wind, but other than that, it was fine. And overall, I thought the cone was pretty cozy. In the morning, it's really pretty. So in this episode of Instagram versus reality, this place is just as pretty as it looks, but it's way louder. See you later, pine cone. Until next time. But what can you expect? I mean, it's a giant pine cone hanging from a tree.